Hello, everybody. I hope that you're all doing well. We are here with a timeless reading. Before we get started, let's set the intention for this to be a space where everyone allows themselves to feel seen and validated, and ultimately for this to be a safe space and a healing space in alignment with everyone's highest good. <clears throat> it looks like there are multiple, multiple energies that you're channeling. There may be something that you're doing where you are tapping into like different skill sets that you have, different abilities of yours. Okay, we're starting off with the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is about moving through something very quickly. You could be moving in a direction. Okay. So this is like, I know that I'm going in this direction. I'm not going to be deterred. It's just like in the process of getting to that point, but something is happening very quickly. I'm seeing the Ten of Swords. So you may be going immediately into an ending, something that's feeling stressful. It may be the end of something for you, but to have the Eight of Wands before it, this is like, you know that you are going in this direction. And I'm also seeing there be stress that's tied to this as well. I'm not seeing it be something that you can't handle. I'm seeing there be, I'm hearing a premonition. I'm seeing there be an awareness that you're going in this direction. So even though it may like metaphorically sort of feel like you're falling off of a cliff, like you know before you get there, like before you go over the edge that this is happening, it seems like you're finally facing something. It may not feel like a great time to be going through this, but I'm seeing that you're going to be fine with this. Okay, you're going to be okay. And this was something that was bound to happen also with the Ten of Swords. Okay. Something ends, something new begins. So whatever this is, is kind of like... The shell that you are shedding is now being pushed, maybe even just left where it is, and you're continuing forward. To have this page of wands be coming up, there may be something that has now piqued your interest that you can decide to go in this direction. I'm getting confirmation of this. Let's say this also, though, because this is definitely coming through. This new thing that you're starting, although you are excited to do this, I'm seeing that you're still dealing with that Ten of Swords also. And still dealing with, like, the stress and the impact of something coming to an end in maybe not the most gentle way. It's like the landing that you had was rather bumpy with that experience and so you're still kind of dealing with the whole energetic impact of that while something new is catching your eye. And so you may be at a point where you're like, I'm still dealing with this stuff that's like clearing out and finishing. And now this other thing is in front of me that I do feel excited about. And at the same time, I'm still dealing with this other stuff. Because it's all, it's all connected. And that doesn't mean that you're not excited about this new thing. That doesn't mean that you're not still going through a difficult ending. It's like all of this stuff is happening. And that too. So you may be, whatever this thing is that's popping up that you're like, ooh, I feel excited. I want to go in that direction. That thing is catching my attention. I'm seeing that this is going to be a process. You know that something is resonating with you. You know that it appeals to you. This can be a project, it can be you connecting with somebody, it can be like a new activity that you're doing, just a new thing in general, or something that doesn't have to be new. It's something that you feel like a renewed sense of inspiration and motivation to connect with, that you feel like there's an effortless sort of connection here, and that lights you up energetically. Seven of Pentacles is like, this is something that I do want to spend my time doing, spend my energy participating in. But I know that it's going to take some time. 
So this can be something coming through in you being like, yes, I feel something. I want to move in that direction. And at the same time, I know that it's going to take time to develop. This is what I'm seeing here. Also, too, with the seven, because we have seven of pentacles here. With a seven, part of this is kind of like up to chance. You may feel this as like a fate sort of thing. Seven is a karmic number, so it's kind of like it's going to go the way that it's meant to go with this. But right now, this seems like the thing that you want to be putting your energy into. You may be still um, figuring out if this thing is going to be worth it or not for you. Like also, if you're gonna find what <clears throat> if you're gonna find what you need here with whatever this new thing is for you. So you may feel like you can't make a definite decision about it until you know, which again is going to take some time. If you haven't already, it looks like you're going to be cutting something off completely so that can clear out and you can start this new thing. Like finish whatever this is. This is something that you may be maintaining but it feels very heavy at this point and you know it needs to come to an end. For some of you, the ending could have already taken place. For others of you, you're still working through this. Like you're going in this direction where like you know that this is definitely going to happen. It's a sure thing. It's just like in the process, but it seems like it's going to happen maybe sooner than you thought. <sighs> Cutting off whatever this is that needs to be cut off, finally, that's what's going to help you break through and be able to see things as clearly as possible. It seems like it's also going to allow you to feel excited about what's to come as well. Because I am seeing you be motivated to move towards this thing that's popping up for you. Seems like it's also going to indicate to you the best way to manage, like, the stress that you're feeling or the overwhelm. Because I'm seeing the Two of Pentacles, and on one side... Of the Two of Pentacles, it's like this rough ending. On the other side of the Two of Pentacles is this inspirational beginning of something that's calling to you. And I'm seeing the Two of Pentacles be connecting this. And so you're right now balancing these two things where it's like something coming to an end and then something beginning. It's kind of like the the energy of the Ouroboros. But you may feel stressed right now because you're like, this is an intense ending and this is an intense beginning. So it may feel like two big life things that are happening where you're like, if just one of these things happened to be happening right now, I think that I could deal with it. But because this, like both of them are happening simultaneously, definitely simultaneously, that may be having you feel like you're in a space where you're like, this is just a lot right now. Honor that. You want to make sure that you keep prioritizing and evaluating what you need to be doing. Your guides are saying that there's definitely no rush for this new thing that you're starting. Um, it may be getting off to like a bit of a slow start, but it's meant to be that. There's something that's like constant about the energy where it's like, I know that I'm being pulled in this direction. However, I'm not seeing you need to like speed through this. Like whatever this is for you, 
you're not only dealing with this, you're also dealing with that other thing too that is finishing up for you. So just take your time and make sure that you're balancing both of them. Because if you honor one over the other, it's not going to be a completed cycle and it's something karmically, energetically that's gonna come back that you're gonna have to deal with if you don't square it away now. So that's why you want to handle both of these things um, in the way that they need to be handled and honor the process, both of these processes. It's like this, you know, sometimes when you go through something and you're like, I'm still dealing with the pain of it, and then you start something new, and then it's like all of a sudden, four months down the line, you get hit with this feeling of like grieving and mourning, and you're like, I thought that I put this away, why is it coming back here? This is the time where you can sort this out and deal with it so it doesn't need to come back and hit you four months down the line. So honor your process. That's what I thought, seeing the death card want to come out here. You are working through a transition, a transformation right now, and I'm seeing you really taking your time to not speed things up in a way that's out of touch. I'm seeing a lot that you're working through energetically. I am seeing also somebody's going to be coming through. Somebody really wants to talk to you. You are going to get a message from somebody and they're going to come through quickly. Definitely want to have some conversation. For some of you, it's a Leo. I am looking at Pisces on the bottom of the deck, and I'm also looking at Sagittarius here as the only card that officially came out. Let me just look at this. If you have not ended something, I'm seeing that you're going to get help ending it, or you're going to help yourself by ending it. But for some of you, you may have somebody coming through and sort of... I'm hearing design. I don't know how that is going to interplay with you but yeah you could be like moving towards somebody that is going to help guide you through something painful that you're moving through um and if this is you then you are going to sort of like do this for yourself like hold your hand through a process but i'm seeing that like once this ten of swords happens which means that like, whatever this thing is finally fully comes to an end, like a full stop, like it's not going on anymore, we have closed the deal out, I'm seeing that something becomes apparent to you, and you may be in a spot where you're like, I just feel like there's a lot going on right now, there's a lot that I'm responsible for, there's a lot that I'm managing, a lot to get done, kind of feeling a bit of whiplash going back and forth, however, I'm seeing you be motivated to manage this as well as possible like really putting your best foot forward because there's something that has like come into your life that you feel genuinely inspired by and it's worth you working out and taking your time and investing in it and seeing where things go because I'm seeing you definitely be committed to investing in this page of wands um, again, to go over what the Page of Wands is, it's like something that comes into your life that you feel inspired by, that is like speaking to you, that's motivating you. It's like a reason to get out of bed in the morning. Um, and it can be um, a new activity that you're doing or something that you're revisiting now. Like you... You haven't been sewing for like 10 years and then you start doing it again and you're like, wow, I love this. I really miss doing this so much. Or you get back in the garden or you start making music again or you start writing poetry again um, or creating some sort of art or you get back into reading. This can also be a relationship. You can be connecting with somebody and be like, I'm really excited to see you. I want to spend time with you. I want to see where things go. This can be a project. It can be a collaboration that you're doing. It can be some sort of project within your own life where you're like, I want to, I want to bring this to life in some way. And I'm seeing it definitely be like a good opening chapter for you where you feel like you really have something solid and you also know that this is something that's going to take you really investing your 
resources in. Energy is a resource too, keep that in mind. All right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everybody for joining. Thank you for tuning in. I'm wishing everybody love and light and healing, and I hope to catch you guys next time.